sulcus, this is the calcarin sulcus, and this is the parito-occipital sulcus. So this is the cuneus, and that will be the precuneus. Now, this is a lingual gyrus. What's next with this lingual gyrus? Lingual gyrus is quite big here. This is a lingual gyrus. That's a lingual gyrus. Now, the lingual gyrus extends to become a certain gyrus which is neighboring to the crus cerebri. This is a crus cerebri, and it ends with a certain reflection called uncus. Uncus means hook. It's an uncus of the parahypocampal gyrus. This is the parahypocampal. Why parahypocampal? Because this gyrus is located immediately superficial to a formation which is hidden in the inside of the temporal lobe, a so-called hippocampus. Hippocampus, uh, direct translation, seahorse, uh, is a collection of gray matter which normally existed in the surface, being a cortex, but during a process of some uh, migrations of the cells in the brain in the mammals, it is hidden in the depth of the front of the sorry of temporal lobe, and it can be seen only in the form of, of the in the exterior only as a bulge in the form of this parahypocampal gyrus. Now this white and gray substance on the transverse section, this is the hippocampus. Uh, this white substance are the axons of hippocampus, which next form fornix, because axons of hippocampus form first the so-called alveus, which is which goes next to be a crus of the fornix, and then it becomes a fornix, corpus fornicis, and then it splits into two columna fornicis, which reach mammillary bodies. So this is a tract which unites the hippocampus and the mammillary bodies in the form of so-called uh, hippocampal mammal, uh, mammillary tract. Now, um, here we can see this hippocampal, parahippocampal gyrus. This is whole thing and this is the uncus of this parahippocampal gyrus. And now, lateral to this parahypocampal gyrus, there is a groove which is so-called collateral sulcus. Lateral to it, there is a medial occipitotemporal gyrus, or the fusiform gyrus. Fusiform, I don't know if it's fusiform, should be uh, narrowed in both ends and dilated in the middle. Next, occipitotemporal sulcus and the undersurface of the inferior temporal gyrus is the occipital, sorry, the, the so-called lateral occipitotemporal gyrus. So, lingual, from the inferior bank of the calcarine sulcus, becomes a parahypocampal with its uncus, then we have collateral sulcus, then we have the fusiform, or the medial occipitotemporal, and then occipitotemporal sulcus with the lateral occipitotemporal, which is the uh, inferior aspect of the inferior temporal. I think I can. I can.